Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome to Amori. This is a, um, an indie RPG kind of thing? Uh, it kind of deals with some touchy subjects. So, um, I've been kind of curious about this game because it's been overwhelmingly positive from many people who played it, so... Um, let's just go ahead and start this, shall we? Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what happens, Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. This kind of sounds a lot like depression, in a way. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside? Uh, not yet. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Boy, was I right on the money on that. Meow. Waiting for something to happen? You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Open my journal, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Stare at the screen. You stared at the screen. Okay, then. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Yeah, let's take a look inside. You've got some interesting sketches, Amori. Oh, dear. And that's it. Whoa, what was that? Something fell nearby. Where would that be? A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Not even going to give me the option to eh, to leave my room, huh? You stared at the door. So what did fall? This thing? Maybe I try to avoid those things. Oh, a knife. 
This being depression and seeing a knife, that's not giving me good vibes. You got a shiny knife. Those seem like enemies, so maybe... No. Oh, I can open the door now. Mori, we were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hey there, Kel. There's no need to get angry. Hero? It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero! You only say that because you are losing! Okay. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day, that good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know! Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Pretty please? Yeah, I got my first quest. Um... Where would it be stored? Fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. A neatly wrapped pre present. A blender. Would you like to make toast? Yes. Aw, oh, it's in the shape of a heart. Cute. You made toast. A photo of someone familiar. Nothing about the clock. A single bean on a plate. Oh, it was in the melon? Weird. What the heck? I don't know why. <laughs> Is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel! Look, it's my stuffed toy! What the heck? Where did you get that? Oh, Mori found it! Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? <laughs> Aubrey. Fine. Okay. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. A cat shaped hole. Um, I guess I move on then? You can't leave without your friends. Man... Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Omori, I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Yeah, sure. Uh, Alright, everyone. Let's go see Mari and ba Basil. Yay, I got my party. So Amori, Shh. here is your allowance for today. Fifty clams. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a sec. Help me up, guys! I'm stuck! Only if you say please! 
Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Interesting characters. Mary Basil. Oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kel's being mean to me again! Oh no, not again. How could he? Pfft, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kel, you just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! Uh, settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. <laughs> uh, okay. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were, were going through this photo album. Did you want to join us? Of course! After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil! Basil! Get a load of this! Come on, Basil! Take a picture of me! Sorry, Kel, I only take photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Yeah, there's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah, I guess I can put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Did you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Oh, uh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here! This way we can all see. <laughs> These are nice. I wonder why Amori is, like, black and white. Well, probably because he's depressed. <laughs> yeah, Amori's just kind of like... Oh wait, all of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. After eating, everyone fell, fell asleep, except Hiro and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Hero leaning in for a smooch! Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, uh, brotherly love. Okay, so they're brothers. Mari had Hero take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Kel drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. 
I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Hero's still making his fl flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Omori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Omori and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. Okay. These photos are all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds like fun. Let's go. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. Aw, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari! We'll see you again soon! Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. Okay. I don't know if I need candy right now. That's some pretty nice, uh, music there. No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. Alright. He looks like Kirby. Hey, Omori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans! Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Okay very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. Oh yeah, one of those like pure white puzzles. Hey, wait just one second. Where do you th where do y'all think you're going? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You want to play hide and seek again? But you know how this turned out last time. Yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think we're gonna have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now, so we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast! You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as Boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron is up to now. Eh. Good riddance. So... You wanna play hide-and-seek, Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Omori. What do you wanna do? Omori! Omori, my best friend! Come on, you know how to play hide-and-seek, don't you? I... yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Ten hut! Alright, maggots, here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide-and-seek. Here in my hands, I got some straws, see? Everyone here's gotta pick a straw. My accent is changing all the time. The one with the shortest straws is going to be it, and we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? We all got our straws? Yep, seems like it. Good. Now let's see who's going to be it.
Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is... Omori. How convenient. Oh, wait. Omori, is it? But Omori doesn't like to be alone. Are you going to be okay, Omori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies. It ain't so bad. Amori will be fine. When you're ready to play, walk up to the t tetherball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking, or else. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Well, you were pretty easy to find, you know? Okay. <laughs> right. You weren't doing much to find me. Charlene, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, who else is around? Okay. <laughs> okay. Happy, okay. No, please don't. <laughs> oh wait, there's a mound right here. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> Yawn. You really gotta do this every time, Burley. Hey, that was uncalled for. <laughs> Aubrey. Here I am. Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Oh, Basil's a he. Okay. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? 
Basil! You can come out now! You already won! Hello, Basil! Hello, oh, hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... Are you stuck? Oh. It's boss. <laughs> boss, I should have known it was you. You good-for-nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of here, Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you all how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? My flower crown! Hey, that's the flower crown we made for, for Basil. How could you? Let go of him, you bully! No! If I can't play with everyone, then no one can! This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited! Okay, this is... This is interesting. Uh... Uh... I'll have a Mori attack. I guess I'll just attack... Have everybody attack. <laughs> you weaklings! You call that an attack? <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the skill? Inflict sad on a friend or, f or foe. Acts first, reducing damage taken. I want to just do that. What is Aubrey's skills? Make a friend or foe happy. I mean, we're not really taking damage, so... Hey, that kinda hurt! <clears throat> this isn't fun anymore. So, uh... I'm just kinda curious. Use shift to switch sides. What is his skills? Annoy. <laughs> and cook. Heals a friend for 75% of the heart. Oh, okay. That's actually a really good skill then. No, you made me angry! It's time for my special move! Body Slam! Yikes! Oh, Mori did not succumb. Huh? How are you still moving? Okay. So I think I'm supposed to make him sad. There we go. And... I don't really have anything else. Just attack him, I guess.
Yeah, there we go. I guess I was supposed to do that. This isn't fair! Rematch! I want a rematch! Basil, are you hurt? Ah, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Hmm, <laughs> I know that. There, does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Omori held on during that final attack, or else we would have all been toast. It's okay, I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Hm. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Okay, then. Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. Yeah, that sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Well... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, th I think I'll actually call it uh, for this episode. Um, it's, it's pretty cute, not gonna lie. Um, I am curious to see what Omori's whole deal is. Uh, and I just noticed Omori was the only one who got experience, so... People who are toast in battle do not get experience, okay gotta remember that. Uh, so anyway, this has been Mr. Bacon Bits with Omori. Stay safe, happy, and healthy, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.